Now, to close off this topic today, I'm going to show you a simple, really simple word that you all know. But do you really? Exit. What is the definition of the word exit? Ha, huh. got you stumped, huh? Well, the word exit can be broken down into prefix X and a root it. Um, who is uh, an ex-boyfriend, ex-girlfriend? When I say boyfriend and then I say ex-boyfriend, when I say girlfriend and I say ex-girlfriend, what does that mean to you? The past. The past. Interesting. Yeah, that's a mistaken notion. But ex literally means out. So it, I don't really have to translate to you. So what is the definition of the word exit then? The definition is out of it. Exit, out of it. Get out of this room. Get out, out. That's exit. You see what I'm saying, guys? Even simple words in English language or other Romance languages, they work just like that. And after today's class, after you review this video a few times, you will be able to think differently about the language that you see. Okay. And that's how I actually want you to think about the language of medicine in small pieces. Our next class, I'm going to start going over human anatomy and providing you the medical terms that represent that piece of anatomy. So I really want you to be prepared and ready to draw pictures and to do a lot of writing. I really want you to have your notebooks prepared for this so you have enough room without, you know, reaching out for extra pieces of paper. You need to have all this information together. But as I said before, this information is not essential. It's not essential. I didn't say that it wasn't completely, um, uh, what do you call it, uh, useless for your exam. No, this serves dual purposes. A, it'll help you on the exam because you'll be able to think more critically. And B, it'll bring you into this exclusive club just by speaking the language. You know, when you sound and you look like the people in the hospital, you are one of the people in the hospital and no one will ever tell you differently. When I'm in the hospital, people always mistake me for a doctor. Sometimes it's helpful, sometimes it's not. No, I don't play a doctor on TV. No, I don't pretend to be a doctor. But you know what? I got to tell you something. You go to the hospital and you're either a patient or you're a loved one of a patient, and all of a sudden you speak like the doctor. People treat you differently and they provide you information as if you were one of their own, and they do take care of you better. I don't know if you ever noticed. Okay? So just, you know, just. Check it out, all right? Speaking the language, looking and sounding like the people who are in that hospital will qualify you for certain perks. Membership has its privileges. You are members of this exclusive club. Less 
significantly less than 1% of the population has anything to do with healthcare, and you are a part of this exclusive club. Make it count by sounding good, by sounding right, by understanding what people tell you. That's how you get paid more money. Uh, I'm going to stop right here. Actually, you know what? Let me throw one more thing in there. What was that suffix I told you about that was, if you don't learn anything else today, uh, remember this suffix? What was that suffix? It wasn't that long ago. Somebody should come up with that suffix I told you about. What was that suffix? Not oh, on the board. Osis. Osis. And what was osis? Osis was uh, abnormal condition of. Let me throw one more suffix. And then remember, this is a suffix. Okay? But this is this suffix is perhaps it's also one of the 10 most important suffixes especially for sterile processing technicians this is a suffix folks suffix is ectomy that's a suffix but this suffix has a prefix root and the suffix all of its own. Can you recognize, can we, can anyone subdivide those suffix ectomy into three different pieces? Can anyone take a chance and do that? Ectomy is a suffix. Now let's decipher the suffix and find out what it means. Because for you, since you're gonna be managing surgical <laughs> instruments, you can, you know, you can have a cholecystectomy. You can have an appendectomy. You can have a hemigastrectomy. The removal. Oh, ah, but how do you know that? All I want you to do for now is to subdivide this suffix into three separate pieces that will help us decipher this piece. Come on. You have. Tom, you have Tom. I got Tom. Okay, I got Tom. What else do I have? Tom's Y. We have a Y. Very good. And now e what's left is Ek. Now, I'm going to cheat a little bit and tell you that Ek is the same thing as e. X and E. So X, Ek, and E, they all mean the same thing. What does X mean? I just told you that not more than two minutes ago. Out. Out. Yo. What is Tom? Cut. Thank you. Tom means to cut. And what was Y, my friends? Procedure. Procedure. So every time you see suffix X to me, on the end of any kind of a large medical term, what will that mean to you? Vasectomy. Vasectomy is very good, but very good. It's painful to me for me to even think about it, but, uh, you know. But procedure to cut out. Procedure to cut out. Yes, in medical books, they tell you that ectomy is a suffix that means a surgical removal of. Nonsense. Yes, it is a surgical removal of, but if you break down the suffix, it tells you why. Procedure to cut out. Of course, everything we cut out is surgical. Okay? We don't cut anything out that's not surgical. Even if you take a, a, a blade and you scrape something off of your skin, like you see a nasty old tag, say, yeah, I'm going to cut that damn thing off. I'm not going to see a doctor. Yeah, I'll put some Neosporin and cut it off, and that's it. That's a surgery, okay? I, I don't recommend that you do that. I mean, uh, uh, I know some some people who are strange, like me, who will actually do that. <laughs> but I don't recommend it, so don't do it at home. But anytime you slice something off, <laughs> it's an ectomy, okay?
to cut out an appendix, you have an appendectomy. Okay? So, you know people. People who had their gallbladders removed, they had a cholecystectomy. And I'm going to teach you all these word parts as we go along. Where they're located. Now, is this going to be a full-fledged class in anatomy? No. No. But you are going to know what you need to know and more. That's why make sure you have a nice notebook where you can write things down. All right. Please make sure to do that. You are going to have a lot of fun. I promise you. I promise you. This is very interesting. This is very exciting. And I highly recommend that you pay attention to it and really enjoy yourself. This is for your personal enjoyment. I'm going to stop. I'm going to stop right over here. Believe me, this is going to be interesting because there is no pressure. There is no quiz. It's just the joy of learning what's inside of you. Literally, all of this is yours. You interact with it every day. Your life depends on it. All of a sudden, now we're going to open up this picture of things inside. We're going to learn the anatomy. We're going to learn the language. It's very exciting. You know, I, I mean, I, I'd love to learn an, a foreign language. I'd like to go and spend some time, take classes, and maybe learn Spanish. I don't know. I don't mind. Okay. I'd like to. But so treat it as such, you, again, because knowing this language will open the doors to an exclusive club where people make money and do good work. I'm going to stop right here.